it's big, I guess, but I'm not. I, this is the next game on the schedule. Like I, like I told someone before, it's just the next opponent. I think this game is bigger more for the outsiders than inside. We know we got to treat this game the same way we treat we treat our last opponent. So that's what, that's what exactly what we're going to do. Um, it's it's cool. It's cool. It's it's different. I didn't get a chance. I never been a chance. Uh, never got a chance to go to Austin on a game day. I went to a game that when they, the Red River, the one they play in Dallas versus Oklahoma, but never got a chance to experience what it's like on game day. What about this offense? You know, how, how similar is it to what you see every day? Right? Very similar. Very similar. Not too much different. You know. Um, yeah, it's very similar. It's the from tempo wise to. The play, pers the play personnel and what they do on certain on the certain sides of the field and what they want to do on P and ten is very similar. Does having a, a run threat quarterback make it different for you and your position? Yes and no, a little bit. As far as I feel like when quarterbacks run the ball, that means you get more chance to get legal hits on them, so that kind of wears them down throughout the game. Then as that goes down, then it's not really not really more deep shots so at times that he want to sit back in the pocket. He's just thinking about the hits that we've been hitting on him all game. So that's that kind of tear down. More of a must rush though. Now nah, we're gonna keep it the same. Keep it the same. It's not. I mean, we don't let we don't let anyone else dictate our game. It's not obvious. It's not the first running quarterback we've been against. We've been against plenty, but we we know how to control it. We know exactly what we're gonna do, and we're gonna get it done. It was it was different. It was different. I was excited to see it. It was it was it was very, like I said, it was very exciting. I was happy. I was happy to be a part of that. And hopefully, I mean, it's going to continue going out throughout the season. When they were really clicking during fall camp, what was the toughest part about the game? Especially knowing that LSU is known for defense. So when your defense is losing scrimmages, that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing that the offense, you know, what I'm saying obviously they're getting there, they're getting better. It's defense. It, it, it feels like on our side of the ball, we're not getting things done and we're not getting anything right. So. But once I felt, once I noticed that we were losing scrimmages and some practices and we wasn't in sync, I felt like the offense was really, was really where we needed to be. What are your thoughts on Texas defense wearing DBU shirts? No comment. <laughs> you feel like this is your year to prove it, show it, and make sure that every game is you know, you're maxing out. I feel like. It's not really more about a year. It's just about every game. I, I, I just want to give everything I got, regardless of who we go against. Um, this is definitely, obviously, um, I mean, an important year, you know. But I've been held out a whole year. And so I got last year built up in me, plus this year and more. So it's definitely just it's a personal thing. It's just one just play hard, just give everything I got for my teammates. But I'm not making it more. I'm not making it bigger than the team goal. How big was Saturday for you? And kind of did you get to reflect on it? You know, once it was over, obviously the moment. It felt good. It felt good. Finally got my feet wet. You know what I'm saying. I felt like I felt like I did some good things, did some bad things. I felt I picked up on a few flaws that I can fix. But it felt good being back out there, full go, just running around, getting a couple hits in, and I'm excited to keep it going. What does Texas do differently that differently from some SEC teams you might face regularly? They throw. I mean, obviously they're a good, they're a good throwing team, but. It's not really. I, everybody's getting into this, this style of offense. It's not everybody. Not really. You know, what I'm saying nobody wants to be on the center no more. It's not how the game want to be played. But it's not too different. I mean, obviously the tempo is something that they they thrive on in their conference, and that's something we got to get used to. Did they say to play nice when you do the interviews these days? <laughs> nah. Yeah, I'm just like they just told me to be me. I mean, I'm gonna say I, I don't. I'm not, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to, I'm not apologizing for anything I said. I mean, obviously some things could have been said different, but I mean what I say and I say what I mean. Thinking about the future of this season, do you have any personal goals that you would like to accomplish? That's the last thing on my list. And just, and not, I'm not just saying this because I'm doing the interview, but it's literally the last thing on my list. I'm not really a person guy. I feel like the more things we get done as a team, then the better we all look rather than just personal individual stats or goals. How good is Dave Aranda with preparation, just making sure nothing catches you guys off guard? Great. He's great at it. And that's that's one of the things I like about him. And I do I try to do extra meetings with him or any other coach just to see if in anything that we didn't go with practice, I try to get it done. But he makes sure we get all the trick plays or everything that they probably ran two years ago or 
from the OC ran at a different school. We make sure we get all them plays in and we get it done. Talked about tempo and just preparing for what Texas has. Just how much has your own offense prepared you for that? Uh, a, a lot, a lot. We, we've been through it in scrimmages. Like I said, it's not the, the offense is not too different from ours. You know, I mean, I, I think I feel like going against our offense enough from spring to summer and fall camp, we got the hang of the offense. So it's nothing new. We know we won't be caught off guard by anything, and it's good that we we have an offense that we you know what I'm saying that similarity is still where nothing is new and we we can go. Treat the next game like the next. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a good opponent we're going against, but you guys know as, as well as I that we, we also have some other good opponents that's coming up on the schedule too. This, this won't be the best opponent we go against. Not down looking, but this, not the, this, this team won't make and break our schedule. So we got to keep playing.